Welcome to Electron Online, and here's a different kind of example where we have 5x squared e to the x plus x times e to the x equals 0, so it's another exponential equation. But how do we solve for x in this case? Well, the best thing to do here is to factor out whatever we can. So we have e to the x, that's common in both terms, and we can factor out an x. So we can write the following. We can say x multiplied times e to the x multiply it times what's left on the left side here on this term it's uh, 5 times x plus on the right side we simply get plus 1 and that equals 0. So from this we can see that we have three factors we have x, e to the x and the quantity 5x plus 1 equals 0 and whenever we multiply things together and we get 0 that means any one of them can equal 0. So that means x is equal to 0 which is one of the solutions or e to the x equals 0 or 5x plus 1 equals 0. Now, e to the x equals 0. Is there any exponent that x can be to make e to the x equal to 0? And the answer is yes, you can do that if it's minus infinity. Anything other than minus infinity, e to the x can never equal 0. So therefore, this offers no solution. And finally, we have 5x plus 1 equals 0, so we can say that 5x is equal to minus 1, and x equals minus 1 over 5. And there you can see that these are the two uh, valid solutions. e to the x equals 0 does not offer a solution. Again, in order to get e to the x equals 0, x has to be minus infinity, which is not a valid solution. And that's how you solve an equation like that.